Fernando Alonso, the missing super chase, the missing World Grand Prix racer, one of the only characters out of any version of Cars 2 to have a speaking line yet not be released as a die cast, making him quite the strange story. And there's so much to talk about him because obviously he's based on real life racer Fernando Alonso, who is a huge name in the world of Formula One. And we're going to dive into all of that. I'm super excited for this video. It's been highly anticipated here on the Disney Docket channel. I've gotten requests like a lot of requests to review this guy over the last few years once people knew and found out that I had a custom of him from Jim Scavenger. So shout out to Jim Scavenger. Thank you for making this amazing custom that Mattel clearly did not have the strength to do. We talk about this a lot on the channel. Mattel, I don't know why. Maybe it wasn't even their fault. Maybe Fernando didn't want his you know, likes being on a car. I mean, we'll talk about that and a lot of other cool things in a couple moments here. But yeah, Fernando Alonso appeared in the Spanish version of Cars 2 as a part of a localization effort in which Jeff Gorvette was replaced in the Tokyo party scene. And he was replaced by a racer that identified with that country. So of course, Jeff Gorvet, obviously, you know, with United States viewers resonates insanely because Jeff Gordon, who voiced him, is a huge name in NASCAR. Now, for some reason, Lewis Hamilton did not ever get replaced, even though he is like a British racer and also from Granada, but he remained in the scene all the time. But for example, for the Swedish version of Cars 2, Jan, quote unquote, Flash Nilsson was replaced or replaced Jeff Corvette. For the Mexican version, you have Memo Rojas Jr. For the Australian version, Mark Frosty Winterbottom. For the Russian version, Vidli Petrov. And for the Chinese version, Longay. Now, all five of those that I just showed were released as 2012 Super Chases as they're all kind of unique designs and kind of a nice theme for a Super Chase. And yet though, they skipped Fernando. I mean, it would make perfect sense for them to then release Fernando as the sixth Super Chase in 2012. Now, many speculate that because his model was that of Miguel Caminos and not Max Schnell's is the reason why Mattel didn't release him. They just got lazy, essentially. But I don't really think that's the reason. I feel like it's a little bit deeper than that. But there are a couple other country replacements as well. Like in the French version, you have Raul Cerul in the scene. And in the Brazilian version, you have Carla Veloso. Now, I really don't understand why or how they went about doing all these replacements because it doesn't follow any rhythm or any like reasoning, in my opinion, whatsoever. So starting here with the American version, you have Jeff Corvette. Obviously, huge name in NASCAR. Makes sense. For the Swedish version, Jan Nilsson. He's a pretty big name in Sweden. Makes sense. Same thing with Memo Rojas Jr. That makes sense. You have Mark Winterbottom, a.k.a. Frosty for Australia. Makes sense. Vili Petrov, not a huge name, but in Russia, he's pretty much all they got. Now, Long Gay is not backed by any real-life person. There is no Chinese racer in real life whose name is Long Gay. That was entirely Mattel creation, whereas the other four are backed by real life racers. Same goes for Raul Cerule and Carlo Veloso. So those three had no backings whatsoever. Obviously, Fernando Alonso is, you know, a ginormous name, second and third probably to, you know, Lewis Hamilton and Jeff Gordon. But the question that arises, why didn't they put Shu to the Roki in the Japanese version? Or why didn't they put Nigel Gearsley in the British version? Even if they're not going to be backed by real life people, it's still nice to see your country being represented like that. So I don't understand really why they did that. I mean, I guess you can make the case that Lewis Hamilton is that British aspect in there. But, you know, Shu to the Roki is a big question mark for me. And Max Schnell for Germany. Well, actually, no, Max Schnell was in the German version of Cars 2, voiced by Sebastian Vettel. I take that one back. My bad. And yeah, just kind of strange all about that. So that's just kind of the background on all the country replacements. But getting specifically onto Fernando here, of course, a Spanish racer. He won the Formula One championships in 2005 and 2006. So only four 
really only like two, three years before Cars 2 was in production. So he was a big name, you know, a big name on the radar. And he's only grown in popularity since. You know, he's one of the biggest names in all of racing. Like I said, only behind probably Lewis Hamilton and Jeff Gordon. He's been very successful racing for Team Renault for much of his career, although I don't believe he's with them currently although there's speculation that he may return. I'm not a really big fan of racing, but I did a bunch of research on this topic here so I could be a little bit more well-versed for the video. And one thing I learned, I watched a YouTube video on it, is that Fernando Alonso has a really strange steering technique, like a strategy he uses. If I remember, like he creates some sort of understeer, and so he loses the traction in the front wheels, but it makes up for it by the power in the rear wheels something along those lines, and that has caused him you know, a lot of success, but it's a very unique style, and it's hard to adapt it to other cars and whatnot. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that in the comment section below, and let me know what team you think Fernando Alonso will be racing for in the future, because, I mean, he could be with Renault again. I'm not sure about that. Now, there's a nice little picture of Fernando from Cars 2 at the Tokyo party. You know, McQueen obviously walks up or drives up he's like hey fernando lewis i'm telling you i've seen that scene like so many times just in all these languages i go through it in like german and all that obviously in spanish you'd be like hola fernando lewis and uh yeah pretty neat stuff now my personal opinion as to why this guy didn't get released ever by anyone is because fernando doesn't want his persona displayed on an animated character he has had his race car, his Formula One race car, released as a toy or die cast before. But I feel like this is a little bit different than that because it is, you know, an animated character here versus just a replication of what his car looks like in real life. This is, you know, loosely based on the colors that he would drive with, the blue and the yellow. But, yeah, I personally think that's the reason because I would have, you know, thought that Disney store would have tried Fernando. I mean, he's an easy repaint of Miguel Camino, as you can see here. So in my opinion, it was completely, you know, Fernando Alonso's will that kept him from ever being made as a die cast, you know, from Tomica or the Disney store. Because I mean, let's be honest. I mean, a lot of these characters you see in the background there were used heavily, despite only being shown in one version of the film. Frosty got released in many variations. Vitaly had two. Longay was in a video game. These two didn't get much of Jack Squat, but still from the Disney store, they released metallic versions of these and ice racer versions of them. So clearly... Mattel and the Disney store were taking advantage of these international racers, except for Fernando. And is it a coincidence that they just were like, ah, he's a different model. I don't want to mess with that. No, I really do believe Fernando and Lonzo had his say. And he was like, no, I'm sorry, Mattel, Disney store, any toy manufacturers. I do not want to see him as a die cast, which I don't quite understand why. Because it would only boost his popularity. But, you know, I'm sure he has his reasons. But anyway, getting onto the review here of Jim Scavenger's Custom, it looks phenomenal. I mean, the paint is just so smooth, and with these intricate decals and paint job, it just looks amazing. Of course, you have those lightning bolts there on his hood, which reminds me of the LA Chargers logo. You got these yellow stripes here on the hood as well, leading into the headlights there. He's got the nice blue side view mirrors silver slash gunmetal gray rims then you got this amazing paint job here which really represents more of fernando than spain the country because if you look at all these in the background here you know vidaly and longay especially like longay longay flash and memo i mean their paint jobs represent their countries you know to a exact point whereas with fernando here it's a little bit more of the personality and just kind of influence of the real life racer more so than the country. Because, I mean, if you look at Miguel Camino, that's Spain. Like, it screams Spain. So, again, it also begs the question, why didn't Disney and Pixar just, I don't know, put Miguel Camino in the Spanish version of Cars 2, like they did with Raul and Carla? I mean, they already had racers for those countries, so why not just put them in there? Why not devote 
your resources to maybe putting a Canada racer in the Canada version of Cars 2. I mean, really, I don't understand why they did what they did. But I really am happy that Fernando got, you know, to appear in one of the Cars versions here. Because he is such, you know, a big name in the motorsport nowadays that it's really nice to see it you know, represented in the Cars world too. But yeah, just appreciate this awesome design here of the blue and the white mixed with the yellow and red stripes. Of course, the black spoiler. And on the back here, you have the taillights, which look really, really nice. Because they are, they look like, yeah, they're plastic inserts there, which is different from this Miguel. Or at least it looks like it because the decal is covering it. Yeah, really nicely done. Here's the base. Watch them have the same exact stamp. Wouldn't that be amazing? Nope. Not a chance. Not a chance. This Miguel Camino, probably the first one I ever got back in 2011. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comment section below. Very interesting to think. Like, you know, some questions that are just the most relevant to me is, why didn't Disney and Pixar use Miguel in the Smash version of Cars 2? Why did they go with Fernando? Why didn't they pick a Chinese or Brazilian or French racer to back Longay, Raul, and Carla? Couldn't tell you. But anyways, guys, let me know your favorite international racer in the comments section below. You know, these are the big six that come to mind as replacements because they actually did not appear in the American version of Cars 2. Whereas, you know, if you look at Sebastian Vettel as Max Schnell and the people who voiced Raul and Carlo, which are just actors, because of the fact that they appeared in Cars 2 in every version, they aren't as prominent, but it is still pretty interesting. Again, Sebastian Vettel is another big name. He's probably, you know, another... I don't know, I'd say he's like the fourth most popular racer cameo in Cars 2 behind Jeff Gordon, Lewis Hamilton, and Fernando Alonso. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and thanks to everybody for requesting this review. I hope it lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be, you know, after waiting so long. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you guys on Thursday for another video. Bye now!